what is going on guys i'm here today with some live commentary no replay commentary this time i had to catch it live soul win versus x-ray for smoke on tour semi-finals uh yeah i really want to catch this series um this is one of the two semi-final series and yeah i'm big on both these players both these guys good friends of mine um crazy that they're playing now i had a lot of trouble thinking like who i would want to win this set but I gotta be a little biased. I want my boy Solwyn to take it. I'd be happy with either of these guys winning the whole Smogon tour from here. Um, it sucks that this isn't the final, but it's the semis. But yeah, but I don't know, man. Solwyn, you know, he's been around. For, he been, he been, Smogon tour is his tournament. It's his tournament even more than it's my tournament. Like I, like I really want him to win. So that's my pick. But going with the teams, X-Ray brought a Bisharp, which is crazy pick. Uh, definitely don't expect to see Bisharp plus Titar double dark. That's very interesting. Um, but hey looks pretty interesting that's all i can say um yeah i'm not really sure why he has that maybe it's like sd bisharp and he thought it'd be a decent win condition and to be honest maybe he can be pretty good if he weakens keldeo somehow keeps up sand keeps up rock stuff like that it could work um but anyway turn one was pretty interesting to me if you guys saw someone let off with uh polytoad versus latios extra switched out immediately into titar as uh yeah, someone goes for Toxic instead of Protect or a switch to Pharaoh. I feel like Draco would have done like 90% to it. But in comes Tentacruel as Titar goes for Rocks. But this is good for Solon because Tyranitar being T-Spiked means it has trouble dealing with Pex. I mean, dealing with Tentacruel long term. As you can see, Skull doesn't really do anything. And Titar is already down to 62%. And it's going to have to take a Skull here if it stays in. So Solon gets out of there pretty nicely, actually. Uh, and he keeps Rocks off and he's probably going to win the Weather War. So let's see what happens from there. Polito comes in here on what? Uh, hit him power fire. Damn, that was a nice play. Um, it specs HP fire. Uh, X-ray goes for top. I mean, yeah, someone goes for Tox on the switch to Rotom. will o -Wisp, will o -Wisps again. Uh, as he goes for a Skull to chip the Rotom. That's really nice for a rain team to get chipped like that on Rotom. It already looks like X-ray is going to be smashed by Scarf Keld soon. Let me catch up to where they are. He refreshes off the burn. Draco as Solwyn stays in again to go for Scald. He doesn't have protect. Well, he did have protect. Why didn't he protect then? He really expected a double, I guess. But he could have protected for free. This Toad is such a giant threat for X-Ray, which is hilarious. Scald protect is alone such a big threat. But uh, I think Solwyn just wanted the chip because he can see that his Scarf Keldeo is likely going to sweep. Like, very soon. Wow, that was a great Keldeo play. Wow, yo... That was a really nice play. He didn't want to drop any offensive momentum whatsoever. So he knew that even... That was crazy though. Because like, if X-Ray Draco, then Bisharp uh, might have been able to sweep if got an SD on Ferrothorn or something. But I guess he was so sure that X-Ray would switch out expecting the Ferrothorn to come in. That was a nice play. He goes for a Surf uh, as X-Ray just decides to sag his Rotom. He doesn't really have another play. I'm not sure if that's uh, Specs or Scarf damage. I think that might be Specs. Um, I think that might be Specs damage. And then if that's Specs, I think Latios is likely to be Scarf. But uh, we'll see. But I think Solwyn's going to sack. Uh, I think I would go to Ferrothorn here. I don't think he's going for HP Fire. I think he's going for Draco. I think he's going for Draco. That's like, that's that makes sense in my head. Because I don't think Solwyn's going to risk his Ferrothorn here. That thing's at a high amount of HP too. It's at 100%. And Ferrothorn kind of destroys uh, X-Ray. Like, he's really weak to it. Um, Landorus and Drill lose 1v1. Bisharp can beat it 1v1 because SD low kick. But uh, that thing's a big threat. I don't think X-Ray's going to go for HP Fire on the switch, though. I think Solwyn's likely to sack. Not sack, but he's likely to go into either Toad or Tenta. I'm thinking. I don't think he's going to sack Pharaoh. Because uh, I'm pretty sure Specs HP Fire is an absolute one hit KO on Ferrothorn, too. Uh, but maybe it's able to live if he's like more spadef on this team. Either way, I'm pretty interested to see what happens here. Um, hmm, what do I do here? If I'm Solwind, I think I just like go into Ferrothorn. Because I really don't think he's HP firing. But if he does HP fire and you go to Ferrothorn, you're kind of in an annoying situation. Because uh, that was your main Draco resist. So the next time this thing comes in, you're picking uh, Sax. At least if you're able to keep up rain, Ferrothorn can kind of be a long-term counter to Latios. Because HP fire doesn't do enough. And then you can just pivot right out back into Keldeo. And x is forced to lose him on. So I think Solman's actually better off just uh, sacking an offensive Pokemon if he wants to play safe, which would be like sacking Thunderous or Tenta. Those are like his uh, safer plays to make. Yup, man. Okay, so he sacks the Tentacruel. I knew he Draco because he couldn't risk his Ferret then when it was so good. But yeah, uh, now what? He could go to Thunderous if he really wants to. That shit might be crazy. 
what's extra about to do here after someone brings him his pokemon so yeah tentacle was a safe play he didn't want to risk his ferret throne when it had such a good matchup versus the remaining pokemon so i completely understand that but both of these guys support water pokemon are basically down now by turn 14 uh polito is pretty weakened as well um, i don't think so much that taken that draco he had protect so i feel like he could have just scouted for it but i think he expected x-ray to predict him to go for protect and thus he thought x-ray would go into his rotom or t-tar to sort of limit uh you know Politoed just kind of being annoying for his team or maybe someone was like whatever even if he does draco i just want the skull damage for my keld but i'm still trying to figure out if that keld deals scarf or specs it served to 29 which is specs versus the spadef but it could be scarf versus the fizzdef but i'm not 100 percent sure maybe i'll go to the damage calc and figure it out Ferrothorn comes in here uh, for what free leech. So I don't think so much they let up rocks though. That's why I was like, shouldn't he go to Thunderous here? Someone has to double out. Don't let rocks up, bro. Okay, well X-ray didn't go to Pharaoh. Wait, 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 never mind. It's not letting rocks up because if X-ray went into Titar there and got up rocks, then he would have died to Power Whip and then he would have lost to uh, Keldeo for sure because Rain would have been up and then everyone would have died to Surf. Because Lottie's at, what, now 50? Yeah, it's at 45 with Rock, so it's for sure dying. Assuming Kelt Scarf. But we could also be, uh, I mean, Solman could also be Scarf Latios, which is definitely very likely as well. Uh, either way, Extra is about to get off an SD slash low kick. I think Solman is likely to go into either Thunderous or Toad here. Um, there's no other real play for him to make. It's not like he's going to bulldoze. Imagine he bulldozes and then gives this thing plus two. And then this thing SDs and just sweeps everybody. I bet Kelt dies to that plus four sucker heat. Just gets fucked up. Completely tossed. Let's see. Hmm. What's about to happen? What's about to happen, X-Ray? I mean, I think he's SDing, and I think uh, Ferrothorn is about to go for what? Ferrothorn Leech Seed is a pretty bad play, because SD Low Kick will force a kill no matter what. Because low kick is pretty strong against Ferrothorn. That thing is pretty fat, I think. Yeah, see, low kick is 100 base power, which is a ton. So at plus two, it's for sure just going to KO. Um, I'm thinking X-Ray's Bish probably has Lum. Bit, or was it? Yeah, yeah, I think it's Lum. What an interesting pick. Bisharp and Black White. That's cool. I don't think I've ever seen Bisharp and Black White. Like in, the la in like a tournament. Like ever. Like I've seen it. I used to use it on the ladder in like 2013. On like Skarmory Hyper Offense type builds. Like way, way back in the day. He SDs as Solon makes the hard switch into his Keld. Um, so now he can go for a Surf. Or a C I would just go for Surf because I think he Specs. Yeah, see, okay, him going for Surf confirms he Specs. Um, okay, so now we know for sure he Specs. Judging by that SD. He's for sure Specs. That's confirmed. Because um, he would have gone for Secret Sword if he was Scarf. Okay, so Toad gets sa uh, sacked here to Draco. But now, honestly... Solon can just go into Thunderous. That's what I would do. I would go into Thunderous here. And just go for a free... But he doesn't want to go Thunderous, I don't think. Because he's worried about what... Well, if he's Agility, he just wins. So he should go Thunderous in that sense. Because he's a, if he's Agility, he just sweeps. Um, but he has to hit two Blasts, which nobody wants to do. Yeah, he has to hit all those Focus Blasts, which is whack. On top of that, X-Ray somehow has like great Lottie countermeasure. Because he has Sucker Punch from Bisharp and he has T Tar that can live at the range it's at. Wait, can T Tar live at 44? Specs Draco? It might be a roll. It might be a roll. No, no, it's Scarf. Sorry, it's Scarf Draco. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's Scarf Latios for sure from Solwind. And Specs Keld. Solwind has uh, like two. Okay. So Solwind goes into Keldio here and clicks Surf. He takes enough to where Sucker and Scarf EQ will knock him out. Assuming that. Uh, X-Ray is running Scarf Drill instead of Scarf Landorus. But I bet X-Ray... Hmm, it depends. Because it could be this, uh, the defensive Protect Drill with Rapid Spin. Or it could have been like Gravity Landorus T plus Scarf Drill. If he wanted to run a really crazy offensive combo like that. But I don't think X-Ray even wants Gravity. Because he has like these... Because if X-Ray set up a Gravity, he'd lose to Earthquake. Because his whole team loses to Earthquake. Okay, Sub is a great play. Because it either forces you to kill the Lottie. Or it would have killed something if he switched. So Sub was a great play. That was a really smart play. Um, because Sub basically forces X-Ray to lose a Pokemon. Uh, provided Solon hits his attacks. This is Sub 3 attack Thunderous. Yeah, yeah, completely. Because if he HP iced into like Scarf Drill or HP iced into uh, T-Tar and then something like... 
if in some way his thunders didn't get a kill he could have lost the game he needs to make sure he wins the uh like who has more sacks so, so someone going for substitute was a good play let's see man if only bishop had knockoff in gem 5 but this thing has to run night slash they'd be running sucker punch uh night slash low kick i think yeah they don't even run iron head here yeah crazy we don't need iron head in this gen um but night slash let's see oh i guess yeah yeah because there's no fairies here so you're good you don't need that iron head for clefable um i wonder what they're thinking about i guess x-ray is considering whether he needs this or not but i think his play is to just go into his drill if it's scarf if it's scarf but i don't think it's scarf um i don't think it's scarf it seems pretty unlikely i think lander scarf would be more uh more likely for sure okay well let's see what these guys are thinking about they seem to be taking a lot of time in these last few turns they're really not trying to botch this up but i understand and no one's really misplayed yet um people, like they both have played pretty well i think the only thing that sucked for x-ray was when he sd'd and keld came in and got the free kill uh he didn't really have another play besides sd just because his team was pretty weak to ferrothorn like he had a lot of trouble pressuring ferrothorn but if he made a double that turn, maybe he could have gotten some more uh, initiative or something. But he had to double into Lottie, and then again, he still had to catch the uh, Ferrothorn. So in general, I guess it was a little tough. Plus, Solon got a lot of mileage out of his Toad. Like, a ton of mileage. Toxic Tar got it low. Got two Scalds off on Lottie to get it low. Was also able to Toxic Rotom and basically uh, solo that thing as well. So yeah, Toad really did well this game. But actually, taking forever now. I guess Solon going for sub made him realize that maybe... He would want to keep his Latios. Um, he might have to play off a Focus Blast dodge. Because, look, the way it looks right now, if X-Ray sacks Latios, he loses to Surf, 100%. It's a 6-0 from Surf. Um, so now he's thinking, oh shit, I can't sack my Latios. But the reason he Draco'd that turn is because if Agility came out, he lost no matter what. So his that Draco from him was a hard read, knowing Solon wouldn't attack. Um, so that was a good play. But now he's just going to sack the Latios, I guess. Um... And so now I think he loses to Spec Surf, I'm fairly sure. Uh, unless the drill is Scarf, and even then, um, that thing cannot Oko Ferrothorn, and it cannot Oko Latios. So, and it can't lock itself into a move that beats all of them, because if it is Moldbreaker Earthquake, it can't kill any of these things. And if it's Sand Force, then it has to pick between Iron Head and Earthquake to hit Latios and Ferrothorn. And it's most likely just going to click like Earthquake, so let's see what X is supposed to do here. He might just go to Titar and try to get those rocks up. Yeah, I don't really see another play. Going into Bishop doesn't make sense because Bishop gets one hit KO'd by Thunder uh, from full HP, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so Xray's going for either a spin or his scarf. Um, but I'm thinking... I'm thinking he's not scarf. Okay, we see a double to Titar. Oh, wow. That's so and switched out. I didn't think he'd switch out. I thought he'd just focus blast. Why didn't he just focus blast? Keldio comes in here on rocks, which is a good-ass play from Solon. Um, the reason Solon made that play is so that X-Ray couldn't get up an SD with Bisharp and threaten a counter sweep. Now it's definitely over. Um, now it's definitely over, yeah. I'm, I, I'm pretty sure at least it's over. I don't really see how X-Ray's supposed to win, because I don't think it's Scarf Drill. I think he's playing a bluff that it's Scarf Moldbreaker Drill. I don't believe it's that. I think it was Scarf Lando. Unless it was a SD Breaker Lando. But double SD? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I wonder if someone needed to do all this. Now this shit gets so spicy for no reason. I th Dude, was it really Scarf? It's not leftovers though. Hold up. Oh shit. It, it actually is Scarf. Because it's not leftovers. So what other item would it be? So then Landris must have been some non-choice set. Maybe SD. Maybe it really was Gravity plus Scarf Extra Joe Earthquake. I said that, but I ruled it out just because X-Ray's team is so ground weak if Gravity gets set up. Like, he'd lose to a Scarf Landris immediately if he set up his own Gravity. Because everyone just dies. And he'd also lose to opposing Extra Joe. His team is so ground weak. Um, if, you know, he set up a Gravity. But maybe that's not it. Maybe it's just SD3 attack. Maybe it's SD Rock Polish. I don't know. I just didn't expect it with uh, Bisharp also setting up. I didn't think he'd have two setup sweepers. This is a pretty crazy sand. Either way, uh, I still I still couldn't tell you who wins yet. Like, this is interesting. Okay, so Ferrothorn comes in here. It can go for Leech, which is going to do a lot to... Uh, I mean, it's going to recover a decent amount. Because Drill has insane HP. Oh, he knocks off the Scarf. 
great play great play yeah so now this way he basically confirms a keld win because you just go lottie here yeah you just go lottie here and you trick bisharp um wait he didn't even go lottie he knocked off again what maybe someone knows something i don't i thought you'd sack lottie and then you could go into keldeo and just win safely maybe his lie doesn't have trick i don't know but now yeah now look bish comes in right he knocks off this thing's life orb doesn't this win that's why i thought he had to go lottie and trick unless he goes lottie right here and he has trick then maybe then then he wins that way or if he's trick well because hold up if he gives bishop a scarf assuming it is scarf lottie and x-ray locks into plus two night slash then he's gonna win um for sure because keld dies i realize keld's a lot lower than i thought at 51 it might actually die to plus two sucker let me check let me check that real quick black white bisharp sd plus two versus keldeo it does 47 to 55 and someone will be at 51 so pretty middle roll um yeah it's like dead in the middle um he's, he's definitely adamant too but he's adamant no boosting nature i mean not no boosting nature but no boosting item because life orb got knocked off i really thought someone would just switch in this uh Latios, because if he dies to the Earthquake or whatever, then Keldeo comes in and safely Secret Sword sweeps with the removal of Extra Drill Scarf. But he knocked off again, so I feel like he's going to lose now. I'm super confused, dude. Yeah, he definitely had to go to... Uh... I think Solon, like thought that he would have to get rid of Life Orb for some reason or whatever. But what if it was Lum? He, he really had to go to Lottie. Yeah, I think X-Ray has this one now for sure. Because this is a really free SD. Um, there's no other play to be made. You just SD. Uh, and then you sweep with Night Slash at plus two. Right. Well, maybe not. Let's see. And maybe this Bisharp isn't even max speed. That could also not even be max speed. And then be outsped by Kel regardless of the fact that it has a Scarf. So I'm not going to rule anything out yet. Either way, I think Solman has to go hard into Latios here, assuming it has Trick. Um, let's see. I'm assuming the Lottie Scarf too. It, so he tricks, right? Yeah, he gives it the Scarf. Okay. So now Scarf is. Uh, I think I think Solman loses though. I'm pretty sure Solon loses though, cause sand. Unless it's faster. Hmm. Wait, no, Solon wins for sure. Cause you sack Ferrothorn. And then you go Keldeo afterwards. You live the hit. You safely secret sword. And then Lottie's in the back, able to surf drill to knock it out at 85. Yeah, okay, because I'm pretty sure surf does KO extra drill, so that has to make... Yeah, at 85. It has to KO drill, I'm thinking. At max, it might live, but at 85, I'm pretty sure it dies. So, damn, Solon really scared himself, I think, when he double knocked that was a whack play he should have gone drill he should have gone lottie and just sacked it he definitely like tunnel vision there or like scared himself unnecessarily but hey it's a it's a, it's a, it's a high stakes game it's high pressure well x-ray here is just gonna go for a night slash right and Solwind is just gonna go into his barathorn um yeah unless x-ray goes for low kick and that shit oh wait low kick low kick here oh he's not low kick wait wait wait, wait. it depends how much did keldeo take Kill it to 60 BB. He could have won with low kick. He could have swept with Scarf low kick, dude. Because I'm pretty sure Lottie would have gotten to it KO'd by that shit. Yeah, because it takes a lot from low kick. Scarf low kick could have swept. Dude, my boy could have won with Scarf low kick. Unless it's Iron Head. And it's... Dude, wait. Why did he switch to Sucker? A oh, brazy game. Dude, I feel like he could have... Oh, bro. Okay, maybe he, uh, okay, okay, here's what I'm thinking. The Bisharp was definitely slower than Keldeo. It must have not had max speed. 
Uh, max speed admin would have been 239 with Scarf. It would have hit like 354, something like that. But it, it would have been faster than Keldeo um, with the Scarf if it was max speed. So I'm assuming he had some HP, or something like that. Either way, really tense game. Someone barely clutches it. Uh, I'm assuming he wasn't max speed low kick because that was the only way. So he had to have been slower. And Xer just said in the chat it was slower. Yeah, see, people really think this guy got to semifinals and would just like make a choke play like that. Man, someone <laughs> never fails to amaze me. But yeah, I mean, he, he didn't play bad. He made the right plays he had to make. Someone just got him in the end. He said he should have gone drill on trick. Completely understand. Um, but I don't think either player played bad at all. I think Solon got kind of risky with uh, with how the bishop could have came uh, about beating him. But all in all, it worked out well. I think uh, X-Ray for sure should have night slash. But he lost to Keld at that point anyway, he realized. He had to go to drill. Who won this game? Um, let's see. There's, there's a black and white game for World Cup. I think Pearl wins. Matchup looks really good. Yeah, they do just sect his drill too. Yeah, this is over. Yeah, this is for sure over. This Toad just 6-0'd. Smashed. <laughs> uh, okay, let's get the second game in the series. So, Solman leads 1-0. Solman always takes him to black-white game 1. Okay, so Solman versus X-Ray game 2 in Oras. X-Ray's favorite tier. Um, X-Ray told me to use this team. His team right here. He told me it's really good. I wasn't too sure. I mean, I like Quag kind of i think it's overrated i played this dude with quag plus magnazone quagnazone which is supposed to be like some great tech because you like trap ferrothorn and then your quagsire six o's but i still smashed the dude i don't think quagsire is like that gassed up it's like kind of good for like bishop and azumarill but other than that it's whatever to me um but let's see actually leads off with metagross he's very confident in the no rotom lead um I'm trying to look at the preview and think how's X-Ray going to win. Uh, Metagross is really good. Because X-Ray has to win this game. It's do or die. Win or out the tour. So um, someone brought a team that has been around since literally the day one of Oras. I built this team. I built this team, by the way. That's right. Crazy. I know. Life is crazy. But anyway. Keldeo, Metagross, Torn, Clef, Drill, Rotom. One of the most standard Volt Turn Keld Metagross builds ever. But hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. This shit is broken, so you might as well spam it. Um, yeah, this team. So what Solon's using is always a really good pick, unless you face Zard Y. Heat Waves turn one, does no damage. As, so, as extra goes for Zen Headbutt. Does a lot. Uh, do you guys think this is BP Metagross? I think so, because Weavile looks really... X-Ray sent me this team, but I don't have the what's it called i don't have i like forgot the import but he sent me this team uh a week or so ago so i know the trend is spadef rocks i know the quag is curse did he, did he pursue it? if he pursued it that'd be oh x-ray is a beast x-ray is a beast x-ray is a beast what a beast play oh my god he knocks out the tornadoes off the oh that was nice that was nice um so now metagross is uh faster than everything except for scarf drill and it ties Metagross. What is Killing Torn going to help him with? Uh, I guess it can kind of annoy Quag. I guess now Quag can't get knocked off. And in general, nothing can get knocked off. Clef can't get knocked off either. So Calm Mind Clef. If he's Calm Mind Flame Clef, that's going to be a gigantic threat. Um, and I'm thinking Solwind is just rocks Clef of his own. But maybe Solwind goes for a pursuit here with his bit uh, with his Metagross. Trying to just like mitigate damage. So he went for rocks instead, I'm guessing. Oh, well, he crits the Quag with Zen. That's pretty bad. But, like, in general, Quag has bad odds versus Metagross. Like, this shit always gets... Fl the double crit? You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me, dude. What? That thing lived the second one, too. You, The only way to get through that thing is double crit. I don't think it's EQ, is it? Oh, no. Damn. Damn, that's a ridiculous. That sucks. That sucks so bad. It's not over yet. But that really sucks. What the fuck? How did Excadrill. How did Steel Type to Steel Type on Fire Type work out? I don't even. Someone made a Lord read there. He goes in the cleft here, predicting Scarf EQ. Um, oh my god. You've got to be kidding me. This has got to be the worst game I've ever... Man, not in the playoffs, dude. Not in the semifinals, dude. This is so disappointing. 
This is so disappointing. Oh my god. Someone going back to the finals, bro. That's crazy. What the fuck? Jeez. That yo, that's actually crazy, man. The Quagsire took the double crit to die. The Clef had to get crit on that turn. At this point, it's a wrap. Like I don't think Solwyn can lose. At this point, uh, yeah, because he's he, oh, it's not even scarf. It's but it's like defensive or whatever. What's the item on this thing? If it's the lack, he can win. So lack berry. Uh, but I don't think he's that. Serves to knock that thing out, but now Kel's just gonna kill this thing with secret sword. So that's that. Um, Assuming it kills. Okay, X-Ray can win with his own Metagross. Uh, yeah, X-Ray can win with his own Metagross. So we can we can see that maybe. Either way, this is getting kind of exciting. But this really sucks for X-Ray because he should have probably won this game just off the virtue of Manaphy getting to sweep twice thanks to healing Wish Latias. But either way, I think he can still pull some magic with the Healing Wish Latias. It still does get a Healing Wish off on everything. This thing might be able to take Secret Sword, but I doubt it. Um, you might have to... Oh, Metagross is too low to take Secret Sword as well. It looks over, I think. I think someone just takes it from here. Jeez. This is tough. I, I'm pretty sure Secret would kill, though. Like, I don't think you have to Focus Blast. You definitely don't have to focus blast here, I think. I don't know. But he goes into Latias on Secret Sword. That Specs killed for sure. Um, I think that Specs killed for sure. It's probably max HP Scarf, Healing Wish, T Wave, Ice Beam, uh, all that good shit. He has to make a double here. Um, but Solon gets a free Rotom. This is an extremely free Rotom. Um, so extra goes into Heatran. Oh my god, someone not letting up the pressure. He realized at this point he's free to make a play like that. Damn, nice play. But at that point, it's like extra couldn't even do anything, man. Like, this is so sad because this game got completely snatched out of his hands. Like, any chance he had in this game was completely taken. That sucks. And then a little attack raise, just a little salt in the wound this game, bro. Jeez, man. That's tough, and it's bullet points. That's a wrap. It wasn't a lot he asked for the final healing wish, but damn. And that's going to be that. Shout out to Extra, man. He had a good show in this tournament. This game sucks for him because, like, damn. Metagross could have maybe dealt with Quag, but, like, damn. That's tough, but that's going to be that. The game doesn't always go the way you want it to go. Um, and Solwyn is going to go to the finals again. My boy's third time there. He got it like six, like seven, eight seasons. No, he got it like ten seasons ago. Then he did it two seasons ago where he played me in the finals. And now he's finally back a year later uh, from that finals. That was Smoke on Tour 25. Now it's Smoke on Tour 27. Good luck to someone in the finals. Looks like, you know, he's being blessed from those above with the luck he got this game. But I hope he takes the whole series. Shout out to both these guys for a good tournament run. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.